Hi, welcome to this Arch Linux BX Monads. It's an awesome new desktop environment you can use on Arch Linux B and then choose your desktop. 12 desktops to choose from. I just saw and read an article and I said I want to experiment with that and that's how we learn. We see something, we are interested by it or what piques our interest, a nice expression. And then you say, let's see, does this exist as well on Arch Linux? Because you know, Arch Linux is built on Arch. If you see software out there, any software out there, what I do is type EA, and then in my case, this is called Enmol. That's what piqued my interest. Wanted to see if we have that as well. So I was uh, not sure where, where it come, comes from. It can come from the AUR. It come, also come from Arch Linux. And in this case, I just uh, it, it gives me the opportunity to explain that these guys are all AOR stuff. It says it in front in blue. Arch user repository, but it's not really Arch Linux. It's coming from anywhere in the world. A package build has been created and it moves the packages and the folders in the right directions. The community is these three lines and extra. That is really Arch Linux. My point being, I do not need to use a AUR helper. Sudo pacman minus s nmon would have done the trick. So now we know it's coming actually from Arch Linux. So it's an Arch Linux application. Okay, after you install it, you need to run nmon and enter. Now, when I first saw this, I had the reflection or the idea we should actually flip our screen. So I have 1920 on 1080. And if this would be a server or some kind, and, and you see sometimes these pictures of 20 uh, screens up there and monitoring uh, any uh, well, hardware out there, then you get the idea, the feeling of this uh, monitoring screen. So there are lots of shortcuts you see here, the C for CPU, C for the wide view, memory if you want to see the memory, and so on and so on. So there are some shortcuts we can have a look at, and basically I don't know all of them by heart, but just M gives me the memory and the swap. And uh, if we press M memory again, then it's well closed. Big, big and like this. The K for the kernel, the kernel is there. Okay. And J for instance is something I still remember. J is another one, file systems. And now it comes, uh, well, it's, it's, it's been added to the list. And that's why I say it's almost filled my screen. And if we could flip it to the side, you can have even more information that goes down there. I not, do not know any more uh, TS, I think one, T, yes, have to, uh, top, top processes, and there we go. So the stuff is down there, and um, it's, it's un, well, we can't see it unless we kill something else, like the J, I think, yeah, the J was the file system, and the kernel was the K. So we close some stuff up again, and now we only see the top processes. So if you really wanna keep an eye on all these parameters, yeah, you need a bigger screen to uh, see all, uh, all the parameters at once. So a lot of information can be uh, shown with this. The H is also probably a very interesting one to remember again, memory, okay, network is there as well. Uh, megahertz by thread, um, user-defined disk groups. The U, I don't think we have done the U, did we? This is something else, is it? Yep, so another kind of information. So this is Enmon, um, if, if there is a uh, use for it, an L, there is an L as well. So if there is use, think about your workload or workflow, uh, if there are things that are interesting for you that you see here, then you now know there is an application called Enmon, and the N I've read somewhere is stands for Nigel, Nigel monitoring, I suppose. So that's uh, end on for you. All right, have fun.